Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Mike, and we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to install McAfee application and change control, also known as Solid Core. Once you have the executable, go ahead and try to run it. Right off the gate, you'll notice you'll get an error message or it cannot find the specified location path. That's okay. Just go ahead and hit cancel and cancel out the setup. This is a result of not running it as administrator, which is required. Rerun it as administrator. Go ahead and click next. Agree to the terms and conditions. Enter in a username, organization, and your serial number. In this case, we're gonna install it without a serial number, and I will show you how to implement and add a serial number after the installation. Click Next. Leave default folders checked. Click Next. This process took about five minutes on my machine. I sped up the video so that the length wasn't too long. So we'll go ahead and finish. Now you'll see the icon on your desktop. If you try to open it up and do sadmin status, you'll probably get an error message or access denied. You need to run it as administrator. Right click, run as administrator. We'll do sadmin status. This will show you that the McAfee solidifier is disabled and it's disabled on the next boot and the local drives are unsolidified. Next, we wanna go ahead and do sadmin help. This will give you a small list of commands if you are in need some help with commands and are unsure of what they are. Once you have this license imported, this list will be twice as long. So we'll go ahead and do S admin license list. If you had any implemented, it will show you underneath. In our case, we don't. So we're going to do S admin license add. And then type in your serial key or license number. I have blocked it out just so you can't take our numbers. Ha ha ha. Just kidding. So after we implemented, it showed that it was implemented and I went ahead and did license list and confirmed. Then I went ahead and did S admin status and to show you that it's still disabled and unsolidified. Next, we're going to go to S admin help and show you the long list of commands that you get after licensing the product. Then we're going to go to do S admin enable. Just to show you here, it requires you to solidify the drives first before you enable. So we're going to do S admin S O for solidify. Now, depending on how many files you have on your local C or any other drive will result in the time it takes to solidify the drive. In my case here, it'll be about an hour and 25 minutes for the local C drive and about 15 to 20 minutes for the local D drive. I've sped the video up so that you're not waiting a long time. And you can see it shows that the total files were scanned Everything's been solidified. And it's ready to go. Next step is S admin status. Here you will see that the drives are solidified and ready to go, but we're still disabled. Now we are going to enable the software.
type in sadmin enable. This will require a reboot, which we will do now. Okay, we have rebooted. We are going to open up the software by running it as admin and we are going to do sadmin status. We're going to verify that it says it is enabled at the top and both drives are solidified. Now the system is fully active and you can no longer run any executable file or batch file because it is not solidified within the system or on the created whitelist as it solidifies. So I'm going to copy over um, a notepad plus plus executable just to show you what it'll do. All right, when we try to run the program, it's going to immediately give you a Windows error that you do not have permission. It will do this for every program unless it has been solidified or installed within update mode. So in our case, we're going to have to open up McAfee solidifier and put it in update mode, which will allow us to install any program. So you'll do S admin, help, and you'll see uh, begin updates, which is BU. So we'll do S admin, BU, puts it in update mode. This will now allow you to install any program. As it's installing, it automatically solidifies it and adds it to the whitelist. So there's no reason to go back and solidify the whole drive again and wait an hour and a half. Here I show you the program works. Now we're going to do sadmin eu for end update. Now this will block out all executables from running in the future unless it's put back into update mode. So now we're going to show you how to remove McAfee solid core. First, we're going to open up the McAfee solidifier, S admin status, I'll show you that it's enabled. Then we're going to do S admin disable. It's going to require a reboot, which we will do now. Now that we're rebooted, we're going to open up the McAfee solidifier. We're going to go ahead and do sadmin status, and it'll show you it's disabled. The drives are still solidified, which is perfectly fine, because when you uninstall the software, all the options and everything that go with it disappear. So now we're just going to do add and remove programs. I'm just going to sort it by date. And you'll see McAfee solidifier. Just go ahead and remove. And that is pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, make sure you post a comment down below. Make sure you like, subscribe, so you're notified for any future videos that we drop. Thank you.